Welcome to the Hobart Operator Training Video for the FP100 Food Processor. This video is a supplement to the instruction manual that is available for your machine. The model FP100 Food Processor, designed and built by the industry standard for food machines, is perfect for slicing, shredding, grating, julienne cutting, and dicing. The compact FP100 is designed for ease of operation and quick cleaning. The FP100 should be operated on a suitable counter height surface. Proper assembly of the FP100, including selection of appropriate cutting tools, is necessary for correct operation of the food processor. Warning: The electrical cord on this machine is equipped with a grounding type plug, which must be connected to a properly grounded receptacle. If the receptacle is not the proper grounding type, contact an electrician. Do not remove the grounding prong from the plug. Warning, rotating knives inside. Always use the pusher plate, keep hands out. Push the start switch to start. Push the stop switch to stop. An interlock switch prevents the machine from operating when the feed hopper is out of position or the pusher plate is raised. If these features do not function as described, contact your local Hobart service office. During operation, when the pusher plate is fully raised and rotated, the machine stops. When the pusher plate is rotated above the feed hopper and starts down, the machine will restart. You do not need to push the green start switch unless stop was pressed. Always push the red stop switch before changing cutting tools or cleaning. To operate the machine with a single cutting tool for slicing, shredding, grating, and julienne cutting, grasp the pistol grip handle and raise the pusher plate. Turn it to the left. Release the feed hopper lock by turning the finger paddle counterclockwise. Then raise the feed hopper. Lower the ejector plate on the knife shaft until the ejector plate seats on the shaft pin. Select the appropriate cutting tool for the job. Place the cutting tool on the shaft, turning until engaged. Lower the feed hopper. To operate the FP100 for dicing, select the proper size dicing grid and place it correctly on the knife shaft above the ejector plate. Select the associated cutting tool and place it on the shaft, turning until engaged. A more detailed cutting tool guide is available in the user manual. Note, when the pusher plate is rotated and lowered, the feed hopper will automatically be locked. To use the feed hopper, raise the pusher plate. Prepared products such as potatoes, carrots, onions, lettuce, cabbages, etc. can be placed in the half feed hopper. When loading the feed hopper, stack the product in the lower right corner of the feed hopper, one pile only. The product may be stacked to cut several at one time. The half feed hopper is also used to slice round products, such as lemons or tomatoes. For best results, it is advisable to remove the tops and tails from the products, like lemons, limes, or onions, and place them in the hopper, perpendicular to the desired cut. Position the product in the lower right corner of the feed hopper. When using the feed tube, Twist the knob to release the catch on the feed tube pusher and pull out to expose the feed tube opening. The feed tube is used for slicing long, thin-shaped products such as cucumbers or carrots or to contain small items like radishes. The machine does not stop when the feed tube pusher is removed. This allows products to be processed continuously. Always use the feed tube pusher. Warning. Turn the machine off and unplug the electrical cord before cleaning. Note, allowing food juices to dry on the machine may cause discoloration. Never clean the feed hopper, cutting tools, or other aluminum parts in highly alkaline dishwashing solutions, or in excessively hot water, as this can cause the formation of aluminum oxide. Do not use steel wool or sharp objects to clean the machine surfaces. Scratch surfaces become difficult to keep clean. Remove the feed tube pusher. Remove the feed hopper. Lift out the cutting tool. If you have used the dicing grid, push the remaining leftovers through the grid with a nylon brush. Remove the ejector plate. Using a sanitizer solution, run a wet cloth through the feed tube and all surfaces, including the chamber. Wipe with a clean, dry cloth. 
Wash the feed tube pusher, the feed hopper, cutting tools, and ejector plate in warm water and detergent. Then rinse them in lukewarm water, then a sanitizing solution. Return the cutting tools to the wall rack. Place the feed hopper on the hinge pins and lower to normal position. Turn and lower the pusher plate. Replace the feed tube pusher. Warning, turn the machine off and unplug the electrical cord before doing any maintenance. Routinely inspect the machine to assure that it is in proper working order. Cutting tools must be clean, intact, and sharp. The pusher plate shaft should be regularly lubricated with a drop of mineral oil. Do not use cooking oil. Depending on usage, Dyson grids become dull from wear with a life expectancy from 8 to 18 months. Dyson grids cannot be resharpened and are therefore expendable. Replacement Dyson grids are available from your local Hobart service office. A troubleshooting guide is available in the operator manual for your FP100. If the machine develops any problems, contact your Hobart service office. This has been the operator training video for your Hobart FP100 food processor.